All right, so this video is about a new plugin that I'm super excited. I just found out, obviously, waking up this morning, they do a good job of keeping it <laughs> under, under wraps, uh, and that is Fours. Fours is finally, Fours.fm. So I've, they finally put out a plugin that's not just a Max for Live plugin. This is now a VST. This is now available to um, other users, and you're gonna be excited because it's really good. Let's just put it like that. Out the gate, I can tell you now there's 200 presets. I'm not gonna sit here and go through every one. That would be ridiculous that they've made. You can make user presets, which is kind of cool. Um, you can adjust the colors on the interface as they always have on most of their plugins, which is nice. Look at that color, that's nice too. Um, and then they have different themes that you can use their theme and then some other themes they've, I guess, created. So you move them and then click on them. That's how you get the theme, by the way. Let's see what that gold looks like, though. That's nice. And then you can adjust that from there and make your own. Okay. Uh, you guys don't need to see all that. All right, let's go. So each one of these down here represents different things. So here's a patch, and a patch can be pitched, spread. As a glide, re-triggered or not, and then you have like the level or the dampening velocity, and then voices. You can do up to sixteen voices. And this little thing here, if I'm not mistaken, is um, they usually tell you on most of their products. So let me turn on the information and see if that works the same. No, it doesn't work the same yet. Maybe they'll add that. Because it used to be like on the Max for Live stuff, you touch and it would tell you what it does. It looks like there's two pages, if I'm not mistaken here. Yeah, there's two pages. So this one gives you the shape, so you can adjust the shape. Then the rate, the jitter, and the depth, the balance, which all these can be... Um, affected by this so you can change which one you want and then there's these different uh i'm assuming because they don't have it on here that based on this this is like some type of lfo type filtery thing going on yeah it must be lfo because i switched it to pitch and it let's see to the balance Okay, so then you have impulse. And so on your impulse, you got two pages, same principle. You can blur it a little more or less. Adjust the tone, the spread. And this, I think this is delay. If I'm not mistaken, impulse is delay. So all your, again, all this down here seems to be a global setting, whereas these up here affect what you're doing with the this particular portion this could be global too oh i see how they did it okay so this represents the shape so when you're here this portion on the patch shows balance so that's interesting there's two pages look like to each one of these here's your grains so you can adjust the density a lot of this stuff, if you've ever used Forrest or you ever watched the Forrest stuff, then, and he's gonna do a demo, I know, where he breaks down everything. So pay attention to that. This is just kind of an introduction just to introduce you to it. And I have not purchased it yet, so this is in demo mode. They do offer in a demo for you, so that's pretty cool. Grab the demo and check it out if you wanna do it for yourself. Ooh, that's cool, attack, Oh. So you have your attack hold release on the grains. It's almost like a like like a um, granular thing, right? Tonality. So And there's tune, so tonality tune, that makes sense. Um, 
All right, cool. Contra, everything makes sense, but I'm just saying to me it makes more sense. Oh, so you can adjust multiple bands? Oh, you can cut? Or you can, and they actually let you punch in the number. Well, that's kind of cool. Mix. Yes, again, contour is cut. Makes sense. Everything makes sense. <laughs> contour, cut, right? All right, and then, oh, wait, I didn't mean to change that. And then the last part is space. So that's reverb. And then mix. Okay. It looks like you can move this in different spots too. Interesting. All right, let's do presets. So a lot of times people would listen to four stuff if you didn't know, and they would immediately assume, okay, it's, it is FM synth, but they would Im immediately assume that it's not useful for um, other styles of music. But when you hear these tines, That sounds really good. So you can use it for other stuff. Don't don't think that it's just for one style. It's whatever you like. And then you and then of course everything is adjustable too, so right? So that's like a bass or something? That's pretty cool. So this is, I'm assuming this is bass, drum, BD, and SD is some type of snare they made. Like their own little vinyl. EP, like electric piano. Now therefore this this one is $59. I don't picture them doing much of a price change probably because it's so new so that's probably where it's at at the time of recording this video. They do um occasionally do sales so just keep your eyes on their website fours.fm. I'll just go through a few more plugins or presets rather I'm sorry. FM hat so they have some like uh, mallet wood stuff things like that and then AO let me see these are more I don't know what this is these are more sound effect sounding I don't know what AO means though I'm sure he'll explain some of this. That's kind of nice. Okay, they have some pads. Let's see what their pads on. Interesting. like it. Uh, what is this one? Okay. Uh, 
Interesting. All right. So that's all I'm going to do for right now. Remember, this is FM, so it's not... Um, it's not... Uh, what am I trying to say? Sample based, if I'm if, I, if that's a word, I don't think it's sample based. Obviously, FM synthesizer. I think that's what I was looking for. Hmm. Okay, so this video won't be long. There's not a lot to Forrest stuff. It's usually pretty simple stuff that he makes, but it's just fun to mess with. The visuals are really good, um, and quite like his other or the other products. I say his because I think the main person is uh for is is uh is the guy who puts all this together that's all i'm saying um it looks like you can make your default whatever color you want like i said so if green is your thing like me then you might let's see i like it kind of like that and then we'll make a default cool so it should open up every time to the same thing that's really cool it sounds great if this is legit like just straight fm this is really good for fm i know you can make a lot of stuff with fm but i'm not a sound designer so just as a regular non-sound designer person usually when i think of fm i think of it sounding thin and just not really any life to it. It, it it's always i always think of like simple video game type songs but for this playing a chord and i'm playing you know just some simple triads with a maybe a seventh or something let's try a ninth Sounds good. Can't complain about that. So $59 right now um, at the time of filming this. If you like for stuff or interested, now they're out actually have it in a plug-in form. So that means everybody can partake and get a get to try their stuff uh, to see what it's all about. Um, yeah, so what I'd like to see, and the only thing I don't see on here, and it may be because I'm using the demo version, is a way to turn each one of these off so let's say i don't want the grains instead of me having to come in here and adjust and whatever here and it may be a way and i'm just not seeing it i'm gonna have to watch just like you would his uh video where he breaks down the what it is and each part but uh this is kind of just the first time i honestly just oh just downloaded it to see what it was like and um but i do like all his other stuff really well and this is really something that i'm interested in just because i like it um so yeah i would love to be able to turn them off like usually he has something where you can turn each part off obviously you can't turn off the patch that would make no sense but like maybe being able to turn off the grain um or turn off like the space reverb see i don't see a way to turn that off so anyway, we'll find out when he does his video. I think in a half hour or so from the time I'm re recording this, I think he's going to drop it. So anyway, stay tuned for that. We'll see and I'll keep you updated on my thoughts later on. This is just the initial thoughts of using it and trying it out. All right. That's it for this video. I'm out.